Hello, hello, Tea Quilters. Today is Saturday, June 24th, 2023. It's 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're here for our live two-hour sewing chat. All right. So for you wonderful people that are here early, uh, you all get the surprise. It's like my doorbell rings at a quarter till eight, and I already know that somebody coming to hijack my live, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to let y'all have this because um, she's going to take over anyway. You can't kick her out. <laughs> so let me out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi guys. How are you? Jersey and I are just stopping in to say hi. <laughs> How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Everybody okay? Let me get the live. Can me that phone right there? Hang you this phone? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think it's plugged up though. It's plugged up. I just got to get into oh. the live. Okay. Hey Jersey, you wanna blow them a kiss? You can sit down. I can sit down? Okay. Hey Jersey, you wanna blow them a kiss? Let me say. You wanna blow a kiss? Hmm? Oh no, it's so much stuff in here. She says I gotta look. There you go. <laughs> Say, let me see you do it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. Jersey and I were just stopping by. We're actually going to get ready to leave because it's Jersey's bedtime. Oh, she doesn't even want this anymore. She wants to talk. <laughs> it's actually her bedtime. But I'll show you her little cute shoes she has on before we go. Let's see. What you guys see her? Look at her today. <laughs> oh, she's looking at all mom's stuff. She's like, I'm going to get into that, that, that. <laughs> oh, hey, Kevin, to my uncle Kevin's jersey, jersey girl. Here you go. You can read some of them at okay. the bottom. Okay. Yes, we are doing very well. Yeah, we are. We are doing well. I have no complaints. She sleeps about 10 to 12 hours at night, except like right now she's going through kind of a little sleep regression where she tries to like fight sleep, but she's pretty good for the most part. Hi, Jersey. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Hi. Yeah. What else you got to say? <laughs> huh? Jersey. Why are you trying to grab the dirt off my ironing board? <laughs> She's fascinated about the color of the darkness on the white part of the ironing board. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't buy kids toys. Jersey. Oh, yeah, she is. Isn't she getting long? I think her legs are, like, yeah, growing. Oh, my goodness. Yes. <laughs> her legs are really growing. She goes to the doctor, um what friday like the seventh or something like that i'll let you guys know how many inches she is now because the last time we went it was for her what four month checkup she was 21 and a half inches then so we'll just see you said what page barking at yeah Paige is in the background <laughs> she's looking for snacks well we're gonna go we just came to say hi i'm gonna get jersey home and get her in bed um one thing my mom taught me growing up is to be on a routine and I've been doing that with her and it, it really works well for the both of us so that uh she has designated time to kind of just go to sleep. And when that time comes, you can just tell she's a little cranky. <laughs> but I hope you all, you guys have a good night. Good evening. Anyway, um, have fun for me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll let mom back in now. Give me one second. Yeah, I know your mic's on me. It's a nice mic, I tell you. She ready to go through all your stuff, Ma. I know, she looking. <laughs> <laughs> I, had to, I had to babysit her outside. <laughs> 
She can't come in my room. <laughs> hey, y'all. I just wanted to go ahead and do that so that Steffi could leave. Got her looking all pretty and stuff. Kevin, you're accidentally putting people in time out, sir. I don't know what's going on with that. You got Nikki. Woo. And messages was hidden by Kevin for Benita. Kevin, you sitting on your phone. <laughs> you making me making a mess for me to clean up. Um, can I view the deleted message? I don't know. Kevin done something with his phone. I'm trying to fix it, but some of y'all going to be in time out. I'm so sorry. Nikki was hidden. And I don't know why I can't go back in and undo it. Hmm. Diane McCoy was hidden. Uh, Teresa was timed out for 30 seconds. I'm just letting you all know so you know why you can't um why why some of you all ain't gonna be able to comment so if it's a problem in the future you're gonna have to email me so i can make sure i take you all out of time out if you were hitting your name is uh nikki b was hitting diane mccoy phyllis got something on hers phyllis g put using i use ahead as a moderator mm. Those are the ones I see. If you can't comment after I get off this live, because there's nothing I can do now because I have to do all of that inside of YouTube on my desktop machine. It doesn't give me those features on my phone. But Nita's at least back, so that's good. And Kevin says that he's putting up the bird. He's putting the birds up, says that he's so sorry. Let me get this done and I'll take care of what I need to take care of. I apologize. So that's fine. At least we know. I'm like, was he sitting on the <laughs> was he sitting on his phone or what? <laughs> so let me go back up and just give you all. Okay, let me view this deleted message. That was Teresa. And another view deleted message. Message was deleted, view message. Okay, so I think once you got deleted, everything that you had typed before had disappeared. So thank you, Darcy, for putting in our pin message for today about subscribing to the channel and also hitting the thumbs up button. Really appreciate that. We also have a YouTube channel that's called T Quilts LLC. It has three questions you need to answer. If you're new to the channel, go on over there as well and subscribe. You can share your quilting projects over there as well. Uh, Phyllis G is here. Said her thumbs up is done. Thank you so much, ma'am. Melody Kiefer. Thumbs up at the door. That's good. Betsy is here. She's saying hi to everybody. I saw her today. We had a very, very nice um, scrap club. We had quite a few people that brought in quite a few quilts. So we had a good little long session of showing quilt stuff. And I was one of them. I had a lot of stuff. So uh, Maddie Barnum is here. Jean Green. Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Saw Jeff today. Also, he joined uh, Scrap Club. I don't normally let people join in mid-year, but Jeff's been new to our guild. And then when you start getting to talk with people and realize that he's he's the only one that understand what he does in his immediate family here in St. Louis. So then you have to invite those people in because quilting is not something that you absolutely have to do by yourself. So he joined our large guild. That's where I met him. And then he also joined the scrap club. So that's pretty cool. So he has two days now a month that he can be with quilting friends. I think I said Jean Green. Got Michelle the Quilter. Guess who Nancy's? Welcome back. Welcome back. And uh, 
do I see saying hi to everyone after she did the pinned message? If I don't do something with this phone, it's going to keep telling me I'm late for chat. So hold on. All right. Um, Patricia Priest saying hi to everybody. Billy Weatherreed. And... Shirley Peters, Sheila Willis, and then came in Jersey, and you all went crazy in the comments. <laughs> yeah, next week, I don't know if Steffi said it, but next week, she'll be six months, so she's growing so, so fast. Benita Nance is here. Joanne Parker saying she prayed that everyone is doing well always. So that's good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just skipping the comments about Jersey. Uh, Nikki is, let me see if I can write this down. I'm gonna have to unhide Nikki. Cause Nikki was hidden, she wasn't timed out. Nikki B, cause she can't talk to me. And uh, Diane McCoy. Oh Lord, my daughter talking about she hear the bump pop truck. She used to track that man down. She had the bump pop truck man so trained that he would pull up right in front of the door. Okay, now she talking about she got a baby. She talking about, oh my God, I got to chase this man. She up there trying to tell a man to wait because she got a baby. <laughs> this is crazy. Teresa, you need to see if your 300 seconds are up and you can tell, type. So I'll see a comment from you at some point. But I got Nikki B and Diane as being hidden. I'm going to put a hidden right now. All right, so we got that. So I'm so sorry. And Kevin is sorry, too. I figured something was going on. I'm like, whoo, he's going to wipe out my whole live chat. <laughs> Diane Cunningham's here. Zandra. <laughs> Jeff talking about boo. Now that he know he in here, told me that's all he was going to say today was boo. <laughs> um, uh. Margie Lee Blackwell's here. I mean, Marge Blackwell is here saying hello to all. Vivian Calvi, Janice Miller. <laughs> Janice talking about she is so cute and is not missing a thing in the room. Right. She is looking everywhere. All I got is just iron, you know, the heat from burning the pad, this coloration. And she's trying to pick it up. <laughs> she's trying to pick up the discoloration. <laughs> ah. Jason Lewis is here. We missed you today, Jason. Sharon Lewis. She says she's on time this evening. That's awesome. <laughs> And Jason talking about, Lord, I just got her. What intonation did Kevin do? <laughs> um, Minnie Dula is here. Mary F. Howdy. Madly cutting squares and listening. Uh, Jeff is saying thank you all for the welcome. That's uh, part of what the chat does. They see a new name. They love to welcome people in. Um. And I was talking to Jeff today. We've talked about this many times, talk about men and guilds. And now our guild has three males in it now. And they're accepted males into our guild. It's not just that we let them into the guild and then don't want them to do anything or participate in anything. You know, we welcome them into the guild and then they can participate in stuff. So, yeah, so we're not that type of guild. I know that there's around the country, there's guilds that don't want to cater to the men unless they want them to do something for heavy lifting or just paying their dues and then that's all they want them to do 
So it's pretty cool. Evelyn Muhammad's here. We're drying out here in New Jersey, so it must have been rain there. Joe Carmel Perkins. So happy to be off and watching live from home. Yes. <laughs> yes. Sue GSD is here. <laughs> Talking about hey T, <laughs> fellow quilters that Kevin has timed out. <laughs> I got some comedians in here. <laughs> <laughs> wash your hands is back thank you thank you hi t is the zoom meeting tomorrow one it's 1 30 central standard time always central standard time um and i will be sending that information tomorrow i still need i need to just make my pattern into a pdf i did print it today i just didn't get a chance to do a final proofing to make sure everything was okay uh, Beverly Aikens here, Ray Mahone said, I got his thumbs up. Thank you, brother. <laughs> T. Robert says, evening all. Sue says, we have 367 days to the most illustri illustrious and phenomenal retreat ever. <laughs> Thank you, Sue, for keeping us up to date on the, on the dates. I have been sending some stuff out, as I said, on Wednesday. Nothing new on in the retreat format or the retreat arena. Um, we're just waiting for some dead, uh, deadlines. Hi, Ann Tantrum. <laughs> cool girls here. Jersey so cute. Liz Wilson saying hi. Deborah Holloway. Says good evening, T and T Quilter. Silverita James is back. Hello. Says hello as well to everyone. Remo JS is in the house. Hey, Tom Eckery, where you been? <laughs> Say hey, T and all T Quilters. Uh, Deborah Newcomb says that I just hopped on. I'm curious to learn more about the AccuQuilt. Um, I'm not going to be cutting today. I've already done cutting. Um, I talked about in the previous format. I'll give them, maybe I'll just give the measurements real quick again. But I do have in part one and part two, because I do the sewing chat lives on Saturday. So last week and the week before, this is my third time doing the, the live chat on this particular project. I do talk about. Um, the whole AccuQuilt system, stuff like that, as far as uh, what it is. I'm using the chisel die today. So, um, and I told people what to uh, use to subcut from that chisel die. And you can make these in any size you like as well, whatever size die you have. So I'll talk a little bit about that when I start sewing, just trying to get through the hellos. I'm a little bit later than I normally am with the hellos because my little granddaughter uh, took over my life today. <laughs> And Jason says he missed us too. Next month he will be at the scrap club. We had some good show and tell in the Kevin uploaded it to our Facebook group. And it is really not the T Quilts group, our sewing group live. Uh, he not live, sewing group Facebook chat. He uploaded the pictures there. It is so uh awesome to see stuff when it's uploaded. I finished cutting for Zoom. That's Remo. Hi, the Molly J. <laughs> J.R. Wright, J.R. White, not right, J.R. White <laughs> is here saying hi, everyone. Hello, welcome to the chat. Um, um, and he says not all of uh, his guys are here, right? <laughs> That's what Jeff is saying about men being accepted into guilds. And I know, and it was so funny because his online group that he's with has told him, said, don't go join in guilds. <laughs> I told Jeff, now he can go tell him, except for if you're in the St. Louis area. <laughs> uh, Donette Branson's here saying hello. Uh, uh, Kathleen Champ. Hey, welcome back. I don't remember saying your name in a minute unless I'm forgetting something. 
sounds like an eventful evening already. And all Kevin's doing is run to feed the chickens. Right. <laughs> That's from Kathleen. <laughs> Jason says, I literally cut 52 strips of assorted batiks at work today for our project tomorrow. 40% off. Not bad at all. And somebody was saying, is she not going to be selling batiks anymore? That was kind of strange. They just said that today at Scrap Club. Maritza's Yawn and Craft saying holla. Uh, Kim R's here. So she's using Tula fabric and there's still a lot left, right? Uh, Kathleen says, oh, I miss Jersey. I would definitely be catching the replay for our little princess. Yeah, I go ahead because my daughter, she ain't going to go nowhere. She'll be standing right here on my shoulder the whole time. So there's no need of me trying to do anything else when she got in her mind what she finna do. So I just came on here. Welcome, everybody. You don't even have to wait when you watch the upload because I just went and got out the seat and just let her do what she was going to do. Oh, she just has so much. Okay. Okay. Because people were getting nervous thinking that she was going to take out uh, uh, the batiks like she did with the k Fasset. She don't sell that in O'Fallon. You got to go all the way to Collinsville. And people say they're not going to be doing that. So, yeah. So, I move my blocks because I was in here trying to prep for Zoom. And then I remembered I got to move all of that. Y'all can't see that. So I moved all of that stuff back out and I didn't put the block back up here on the board. So let me do that. And I'm just going to put some pins in here so it don't fall down while I'm moving it. Got to move stuff so I don't iron it. Oh, while I'm thinking about it too, Christy Stewart sent the birthday card. So let me just write her name on one of these tickets in here. Christy Stewart. And I'm just going to pop it back in this container here. Put that back. All right. So just getting ready. Remember last time we were here, I think we're up to having 16 blocks made. I did go back and look at the uh, instructions to my scrap club because this is a scrap quilting club project. And we do need to make at least 20 blocks. That's what I said. And then I just gave them like a layout of how to lay the blocks out and you can do whatever you want with them for real, for real. So I have, I think enough of these units. Let me just show one and see if I can find one that's colorful. So it shows up better on screen because it does help. So we've got um, chisel here. And again, what I was telling people when you're die cutting, and you're die cutting uh, chisels. And especially if you have a cube, an AccuQuilt cube system that has the chisel in it. Some of them have the chisel in it. Some of them you buy the chisel dice. You can buy it separately if you don't want to buy the cube system. Um, I'm basically making all of my prints, which are my African prints. I'm putting a gray half square triangle on top of a chisel. The size that I'm using is going to be three by six inch finish, which means my piece is three and one half inches by six and one half inches. So that's the size here of the chisel. Then as a contrast, I'm making the same cut size chisels, but I'm making my background fabric is going to be gray. And then I'm using a black accent and then I'm making the same amount of these type of chisels, which I'm out of, that's what we're going to start sewing today. 
I'm going to make the exact same amount of each type of chisel. You need four of these and four of these for each block. Now, uh, some people ask me, what if I don't have the AccuCool die cut system? That's great. It's just that on the die cut system, it gets rid of all of your dog ears. And then since I'm cutting scraps, it makes it so that it goes a lot faster. But you can make this with rectangles and half squares. And then one more thing on about the AccuQuote. If you're using a three inch by six inch finished chisel, all you need to cut is in addition to that, and you, if you got the die, makes it even better, is to cut a half square triangle that finishes at three inches, which means you just using your three inch half square triangle die, and you're gonna cut as many of those to match the chisel, you know, whatever chisel um, piece you're putting it on. So I'm, I use those in gray, and then also use those in black, okay? Equal number of pieces. Everything is equal number of pieces, which makes this a whole lot easier. And then what if you have the two by four finished chisel? Then you use your two inch finished half square triangle. So it just goes in conjunction with the size of the chisel that you're using. That's how you figure out what size half square triangle you're gonna use. Cause that came up last week. Just wanna make sure we get that covered. For the people that don't have, well, for the people that do have AccuCool dies and you're buying anything from AccuQuilt online, please make sure that you come into any of my YouTube videos, look in the description box and follow my link. I have an affiliate link for AccuQuilt. Follow it to their site. You still get to do all of your coupons, discounts, uh, take off any of your points. It just gives me a kickback to my channel for you using my link going into AccuQuilt. All right, for those of you that don't have AccuQuilt and you want to make this chisel unit, all you need to do is cut equal number, again, the same thing that I just showed you, equal numbers of rectangles to squares. So my print squares, if I didn't have AccuQuilt, I would have cut them three and one half by six and one half. And then my half my, for my half square triangle portion, you're going to cut squares and snowball the corners. So that means that you're going to be cutting squares that are three and one half inch squares. So if I was making this and didn't have a die, this would be a, a complete rectangle up here that's cut three and a half by six and a half. I would have this square here. And what I would do is put this entire square over the unit. You know how when we take a square and snowball the corner, we have the square all the way down here on top of the rectangle, and we're just gonna sew diagonally. Now make sure when you're sewing diagonally that you keep going the same direction, because if you go a different direction, you're gonna have, you know, go the opposite direction. Say you go this direction, I can't even show you. <laughs> if you switch them up, not paying attention, and go this direction instead, that's a reverse chisel. So when I cut all of my chisels, I cut them all with my fabrics right side up. You cannot fan fold when you're cutting chisels unless you want the opposite side. When I cut the border on my crown raw quilt, I want it opposite. So I left everything, just let it be fan folded. Didn't really care because I want it reversed anyway. But when I'm cutting for this project, I want all of my chisels going in the same direction. So that's important too. I don't think I ever mentioned that before. So I think that's it. Shouldn't have any questions about chisels, cutting, how to rotary cut. If you do, now is the time to put them into the description box because once I start sewing, I'm not gonna be reading every comment. Oh, okay, Kathleen. Sorry about your health issues. And pray everything works out for you in the future as well. And Kim talking about she wish she had bought more fabric. She's just sick of looking at the fabric now. 
uh, Janet Mackerel. That's how I get giveaway scraps sometimes. It's like I get tired of looking at them and then I'll give them away because I'm like, I've done enough with that. Janet Mackerel says so she's just listening and sewing, sashing on. So that's good. Do I see telling Kathleen she hopes her operation goes smoothly and healing goes quickly? Yes. Rose Hinton's here. And Zandra also says she's praying for her. Wash your hands is very important info. Yes, I forgot about the reverse part on the chisels. So, yeah. So, um, because I have, when I sew my pieces, because I just cut a lot of pieces, I want to make this quilt larger. I keep saying I'm making quilts smaller, but yet I keep making them larger. So I just cut a lot of pieces. I think right here I have enough to finish eight more blocks. So that's what I'm going to do is do this. And then next week, I'm hoping that I can just start sewing some of these blocks together. I'm not sure if I'm going to put sashing in it, so I got to make that decision. I might do sashing, which means I might have to go cut some, um, some squares and sashing strips. So, but we'll see. And then maybe I'll do that. And then in July, I'm going to start, at some point in July, I'm going to start my cousin's brightly quilt that i need to do so we'll be working on brightly again some point at some point in july so let's start sewing here um yes jason it is it was the last project well, I don't, I think it was the last project, I think. It's the one that's due October through December. I didn't even oil this thing. I forgot because of Jersey. <laughs> so let me, I'm going to break this thread. Cause we're not gonna do that. It's been sitting for a whole week, so we need to put some oil on here. I have not done any, whoa, it's like crooked. I don't know why it's crooked. Oh, the needle is down, that's what it is. <laughs> Needle's all twisted up. Take this thread out. I'm trying to see if I can see the tip. There you go. <laughs> All right, just put a little drop of oil in there at the from the top so we can keep going. Get off some of this stuff. Trying to figure out, like, why is it so dusty right there? Like, did I sew some batting or something? I don't know. I don't remember. Just a little dusty up on top. All right. Always put some oil on these Berninas. They don't like it otherwise. I got squares everywhere. <laughs> I mean, half square triangles. Benita Nan says, I found a tote labeled scraps. I dug into it for tomorrow's Zoom. Some fabrics from 1998, 2003, 2004. Yes, because they never go away. They just get in those little bags and totes, and it seemed like they just have babies up in there. <laughs> so... That's when I start giving stuff away when I get tired of looking at the, if I'm tired of looking at the, those particular scraps. So, um, Kathleen says she's learning what an autoimmune disorder really can mean. 
But y'all, I do feel great, and I appreciate y'all so much. God is great. Heck, I'm even got fabric today, a little healing, and watch out. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's nice. Um, oh, Claudette Bettis came in saying hello to everyone. Hey, Claudette. Dee Dee, whoops, my screen went away already. Dee Dee here from Michigan. Hey, Dee Dee. <laughs> Bessie says she's cutting fabric for tomorrow. And then Jenny jumped up on the cutting table and got right where I want to cut. That's her cat. <laughs> That's what they do. I think Jenny knows that uh, when uh, Betsy is, is very prolific, she pieces, cutting, and Jenny all up in it. Lay blocks out. Her cat knows when she's busy. <laughs> Darcy says 102 people and only 57. Thumbs up. So she's saying hit it real quick. <laughs> Yeah, I even showed y'all a baby. Hit the thumbs up. <laughs> I had my channel hijacked. Kathleen saying thanks, everybody, for your thoughts and prayers. Thank you, Teresa. Says she hit the rent. She paid the rent. <laughs> She hit the thumbs up. <laughs> All right. So now y'all got to tell me what y'all sewing on since I'm now caught up with the chat. See Joy Creations is here also saying hit the thumbs up. Got a little thread here holding on. Um. Ellen Campbell is here saying hi to and all sewing friends. Hey, Ellen. Welcome to the chat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Barry says you won't believe the... I can't even see it that she's cutting for tomorrow. Talk about scrappy. Right. It's going to be pretty when it's all done. The more fabrics you got, the less... You have to worry about the same fabric touching. Um, Y'all yeah, won't believe what I cut. I cut, um, I went, when I was talking Wednesday about the floral fat quarter bundles, I did go and cut stuff for the fat quarter bundles. And I don't have a, the fat quarters folded yet because I'm working on getting ready for the class. But, and I used whatever scraps I had. I use some of those to uh, just cut out my test pieces for tomorrow. So I think I was able to cut, use only one fabric one time because I'm not going to finish the quilt. I think I cut out enough blocks for three blocks or something like that. Enough pieces for three blocks, but it took quite a bit, few pieces of fabric to do that. I think it's just three. Um, and so... Yeah, I am over here. I use some of those. So my pieces are going to be floral. I'll just probably put them in, on the back of a quilt or something, start a backing using them, and call it a day. Because I know I'm not going to make quilt number three. I do know that. <laughs> I'm going to see. I don't know if I have time, but I might see if I can find the original quilt I did. That's Because uh, my quilt is... It's called Trip Around the Scrap Basket, but I set mine my own way because I had already done the other version, and I actually liked my version better. So I will be doing a pattern for the, thing, the, the Zoom tomorrow. I just have to get it set up in pattern style. Right now, it's just set up in instruction style. And I like to... Um, I don't have a cover photo, stuff like that. I have it on the thing, but not in the right format. Let's see.
uh jason's he's cutting batiks again <laughs> kevin says well 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 let me apologize to miss t and all my t quilters my cargo short pocket affected my roomie joe carmel told me to put it in my cargo shorts pocket <laughs> Must have bumped up into something, that's all. You don't even realize. I think when you're younger, you realize that you're touching stuff, bumping into stuff. When you're older, you don't realize you bumped into something until it hurts. Like the stuff you used to do that you wouldn't even know you did. You won't even know that you bumped into the door frame or something until you got a scar that's healing. So, and I'm just having stuff falling over here because I already got the hall stuff as it's been coming in i got it sitting right here and one of them just fell so that's the noise you're hearing <laughs> so i'm ready for wednesday's live where i'm doing haul the last thing i think came in today i have just one more thing that i don't have to show y'all it's more of an office stuff i don't have to show y'all office stuff just got one more thing that's got to come in and it's, it's that's for later in the year becky bramlett says since i don't quilt i'm working on a scrap afghan and when i get tired of that a dolly so that's cool so she's uh, i guess crocheting Don says she got back to her boho heart, so that's good. I showed both of my versions today at Scrap Club so everybody can see them. I still got to get them quilted, though. My black background version, I want to add some so six more strips to the side. I think it's six. Something. I want to add something to the sides. And I just didn't feel like being bothered with boho hearts after I got that, got as far as I did. T, I believe you said you weren't writing a written pattern on this. No, that was on something else. This one, that was on, oh, on this, I'm not. I'm talking about not this one I'm doing. I'm doing a pattern for trip around the scrap basket. I'll have a pattern eventually. That's the one I'm talking about for the Zoom class tomorrow. I tend to do a little bit here, a little bit there. My neighbors in my yard behind me are having a party. So if anybody is picking up music or anything like that, that's what that is. Just in case. <laughs> it sounds like they're playing basketball. T, uh, I read that one, sorry. That was Kathleen. Leetta Bryant is here. Got to see her today in Scrap Club. She gave me a wonderful surprise today. So I'm just going to save it and show it on my birthday um, thing. So let me just put her in here. She didn't give me this for no birthday, but I'm, you know, I'm going to put her in a birthday drawing anyway. <laughs> All right. And then I'm also going to put Carla in there because Carla sent me some quilts to quilt for her and had a gift in there, although she didn't send it for that. But I'm going to put her in here anyway. Anything that's coming in between now and my birthday <laughs> is going in here. And Joe Carmel donated to Retreat. I'm going to put her name in here. All right. <laughs> that's how your name gets into the drawing. <laughs> i'll be showing you all of that stuff on wednesday i'll just put all of that into the hall except for um, lietta's gonna be in the birthday i'll probably save callers too for the birthday <laughs> <laughs> what am I showing you all if I'm not showing you that, right? <laughs> uh, oh, I'm showing you what Joe Carmel sent. 
<laughs> that's what I'm showing you <laughs> for retreat. Remo says she's getting borders ready for her boho heart, so that's cool. So she must have her insides done. Uh, borders were optional. You don't have to have the borders complete. You don't have to have your, um, it doesn't have to be quilted either in order to qualify. So just so people don't, don't get too nervous. Just get your top, what's in the book put together. All the other stuff people are doing are extras. <laughs> Darcy says, I went through my scrap fabrics and picked out what I was going to use for July's optional block. Still can't sew it because I'm still waiting for my glasses. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope they come soon. Remo talking about Zoom, Zoom away. Can't wait until tomorrow. Going to be a long night. And remember, Zoom is 1.30 Central Standard Time. So you have to adjust that time for your particular time zone. I'm not even going to pretend to remember the time zones of everything in the United States, especially with some states not even uh, utilizing the time change system. So you all have to figure that out. I just know what time it is where I'm at. Did Miss T just call me older? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Clovis Gardner says, good evening, everyone. I'm cutting the borders for Christmas panels. That's cool. Get That's a good thing to do is work on Christmas stuff and get it done when you're saying you're going to do something for Christmas and not wait until October, November, or December, or it look up and it's January and you never even did it. <laughs> so that's great. I got to cut this one. Yeah, that's why I like these snips. I can cut fabric. These are gingers. I'm giving away two pair, one like that and one of the other lighter weight snips. Going to be giving those away during my birthday draw, and they're not cheap. I mean, you know, relative to your dollar snips, your $5 snips, these right here cost $40. The black handle ones... I think I got one down here because I don't think I moved it. Um, Uh-oh, I don't knocked my whole... I have knocked my whole um, knee lift out. Trying to find this. And then this is the lighter weight ones for people that may have carpal tunnel. But I just like them. I didn't even know about the metal ones. I had to get used to the weight of holding the metal ones, but once I did, they're my favorite now. But I like these because they have a cap that goes on it, whereas the metal don't have anything. But these are great for traveling. But I keep a second pair in here, so if I ever lose, don't put these in the right place or lose them. I got another good pair of snips here. And then I bought me a pair so I can put in my travel bag so I don't have to you know, take mine out anymore. I'm trying not to move my stuff when I'm going to retreats and sewing classes. So I'm trying to buy two of everything that I use in this area. So while I was buying me one, I decided to buy you all one. <laughs> so, and I got some other stuff that's going to be in the hall that's going to be, some of it is going to be part of the hall. Some of it is some of my stuff. But I guess I've been buying me grunge because I want grunge in all colors. I'm thinking about making something with a, a very colorful background of grunge. We shall eventually in the future. It's, it's nothing I got to do right now. This one's folded too. I'm just going to get another one off the stack. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was two in a row. I don't have to deal with those right now. I should have plenty out. Um. Yep. 
Yeah, Sue, I just uh, talked about half square triangles. If you're using a two by four chisel, you need a two inch finish half square triangle. If you're using a three by six chisel, you need a three inch finish half square triangle. I think those were the main two sizes that people were asking. But if you've got like the nine inch cube, then you'll be using a different uh, square. I think you would be using the two and a half inch finish half square triangle. So every size, it depends on what size chisel you're using, especially if you're using one from a cube system, it does make a difference. Dee Dee Hansen is working on July's optional block so I can get it in on time for a change. Yeah, that was uh, pretty weird. I went to the post office yesterday. I didn't go Thursday because I was um, doing something else. And I went up there and I, Thursday I was actually cutting for tomorrow's project I, and I was cutting the floral. So I have to make time for what to do next. <laughs> so that's what I was working on uh, Thursday. And then, oh, I didn't even talk about the other stuff. But um, all three of the blocks that was missing come rolling in on Friday. They were all sitting in my post office box waiting for me. <laughs> so I do need to just, um, I got her bag right there. I had to look for it. I moved it. It was sitting right here. Um, so I need to do that. I need to put that in the mail next week. But I was waiting on the other stuff to come in. So I'll, if you wait, you get more blocks. <laughs> so I'll get that put in. And see what other comments I have. Deborah Sims Brown is here saying good evening to everyone. Hey, Deborah. Um, Joe, my screen went away. Joe Carmel's currently working on my boho. Hobo, <laughs> hard quilt top, right? Whatever it is, right? It could be boho, hobo, whatever. <laughs> Hoping to make more progress today, so that's cool. And I told you know, I think the pieces was the number of pieces you have to make to finish the top. I think was kind of getting overwhelming, especially when you're behind. It's like, girl, you got that tool of pink fabric you're using. You can fussy cut you a whole square out of that. Um, yeah. You don't have to cut all, piece all them blocks. Piece one here and there and cut fabric for the rest. Get that stuff done. Remo's drinking a cup of espresso. You know, I like just plain old decaf coffee. I don't like any fancy coffee. That's weird. And I don't like cold coffee at all. Celia Swain's here saying hello. So Love is here. I saw some hearts going up this screen. It's so fast, I barely saw it. Saying hi to everyone, just listening to you while I knit on my sweater. No quilting or bag making, trying to stay busy with my hands. So that's good, keeping busy. Yeah, the one I'm, uh, Kathleen is just verifying the patterns. I will have a pattern for the one that I'm doing tomorrow that people can't make the live chat. I just don't have the pattern set up. So I'll, um, and then I didn't want the patterns going out either until I can print it. Um, but I didn't want them going out until I had done the class. Jeanette Yeager is in here saying hello. Hello, Jeanette. Welcome to the chat. I love my Ginger scissors. Would love the snips. How do we enter? <laughs> my birthday is July 28th. And on my Wednesday live chat on July 26th, I'm going to be doing a drawing. How you enter into the drawing is that you have to send me a birthday card. 
where do you send the birthday card? The information is in the description box of any of my videos. So I'll be having those two gifts. Those are, well, they may not be the most expensive gifts. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, but uh, on that day, I'm going to be doing the drawing for the Boho Heart. We'll have one of those winners uh, winning that. Whoever completed their Boho Hearts will have drawings for that. And it just depends on how many gifts I set up because I might do two because I might do a fat quarter bundle for Boho Heart as well. So I might do two drawings for Boho Heart since those people have been working all year. And then the rest of the drawings will be for people that sent me birthday cards. So you can get entered more than once <laughs> if you are in the in that particular group. So I'm just mixing the two drawings so I don't have to do two separate drawings. Um, and it should be quite a few gifts. I'll be reading the birthday cards, doing the birthday live chat. Uh, Wednesday's live chat might go over July 26, not this month. <laughs> July 26, that chat probably will go over because I'll be reading birthday cards and doing drawings in between. All right, we got two more of these to do. I just got a big old mess right here. <laughs> I haven't cut a one off. I thought I pulled enough to make eight blocks, but if I don't get them sold today, that's fine. I'll try to do some sewing in between. So when I come back next week, I'll try to do some sewing. So when I come back next week, I'll, you know, be putting blocks together maybe or a sashing or something. We'll see. <laughs> All right, that's it for that. Um, I got a little bit of water in here. We'll heat this up. Take off my water tank while it's heating up. That's one thing I like about this Panasonic. You can pour water in while it's heating. It's no problem. There's no do not put water while it's heating. Hee, hee, hee. Okay, got a little water on the board. That's a good place to have it. <laughs> All right, rub that in. All right, and then cut. Sound like they music changed at nighttime <laughs> into the hardcore rap now. <laughs> Got a lot of bass in it. Trying to get, his, get this done as quick as I can so we can move on to Brightly. Today at Scrap Club, I did cut. I didn't cut anything. What I did was I just rough cut out some pieces so that I can put on my die board because I'm trying to use as many fabrics as I can. I need 75 squares in one size, so I was, and that's the largest size that I need. So I was trying to cut from as many different fabrics as I could. So I was only cutting one per fabric. I'm up to 50 so far. So I got at least 50 scraps <laughs> um, in this quilt here. It's got it because I'm using the same fabrics. So I'm up to 50. I said that's a good number to stop at. So I'll remember because I need 75. So yeah. So I probably will have some duplicates, but... I just I just like to use as many fabrics as I can in my quilts. So I just I don't want to overcut either. So I'm just cutting one. If I have to go back and cut some other ones out, that's fine. I can do that at a later time. Got my papers, my instructions for next optional blocks up here coming up. All right. 
we just want to press on these black ones we're just pressing toward the black these should be pressed down iron teed it up okay um Thank you, Jeanette, saying hope you have a great birthday month in July. Francis Jackson. Carissa says, got a Scooter's Blend coffee. Get a Scooter's Blend coffee. You'll like it, T. It's like a coffee smoothie, laughing out loud. I don't know if I like cold smoothie. That's uh, Carissa. I don't know if I like cold coffee. <laughs> Don talking about Diet Coke is her coffee. When I had, when I ate or drank caffeine, um, Diet Coke is my was my brand. You know, you have the Diet Coke fans, you got the Pepsi fan. I was on the Diet Coke side, and then I uh, love Sprite, so I try not to drink too many of them. But that's my soda now since I don't do caffeine. I can't stand Sierra Mist; it just tastes horrible. Jeanette don't care for coffee at all. Working on resting her hip for work tomorrow. That's Sue. Carla Ford's in here. T, the one you're sewing there, written into, I don't know what that's it, what this is. Oh, this one I'm sewing on is not something that's set up as a pattern. And that's because it's so simple. Um, and then trying to write a pattern for both AccuQuilt and for um, people that sew, when most people know what to do to make this block, it's just not worth my time to make it because I'm not going to sell that many copies of it. I would sell probably three or four copies, and that'll be it. <laughs> So I don't waste my time doing that. I got too many other things to do to make less than 50 bucks on something. So so no, I won't be doing this one. I've told y'all three videos now how to make them. It's, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Kevin Tumball may be sharing drop it like it's hot just show them how to get down at your neighbor's party I can't wait for a retreat again <laughs> it's never going to be the same as the first time of meeting somebody but I just can't wait for the family reunion <laughs> T, where did you get that purple scrap basket? Um, I I sold them. I don't I have to see if I got any more. I was selling them at one point. Um, that's um by the gypsy quilter. I had ordered some and I was selling them. My problem is I can't sell stuff because I never put get it to the website. I need to take pictures of stuff so that I can put it onto my website, and then that's the part that gets uh you know, that uh, gets the omitted. And I can't even remember right now how much it costs. I have to go look and see. But I have it on, I do have it. I just got a whole lot of stuff I need to put on my website. And when I bought stuff, I thought I was going to be vending at a local quilt show. And then I just decided I didn't feel like doing that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. 
So then I start giving it out to my friends for Christmas gifts and things like that. But I, I do have more of that. I did not. Those came after Christmas because I thought I was going to be vending in March. And then I changed my mind. I'm like, I don't want to do a whole day of setup and then two days of being at a quilt show. And it was a pretty good distance from my house, too. It was like cross town. I just wasn't feeling it. So. And Jeanette says she agree about Sierra Miss. Um, Carissa got a question about cutting. Now, if, if you all have contacted me, I have not even looked in my, uh, I've been having scrap club all day. Yesterday I was preparing for scrap club. And I haven't even checked any mail, so please forgive me. I'll try to look when I get off of here. Jeanette says their family reunion is in um, August. So we got just a few more of these. It's 906 already. Goodness gracious. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, uh Kathleen, at the beginning of this video, I even did the instructions again. Well, see, that's the problem. In the other videos, it might be closer to the top. Uh last week and the week before. This week, I had Jersey on here, so they were on here, so I probably didn't talk about it until maybe 40 minutes into the video, so just so you have sort of kind of a time reference, telling you what you need to cut if you got the AccuQuilt system, telling you what you need to cut if you're going to rotary cut it. I talked about both methods. Uh, Vivian saying good night. Good night, Miss Vivian. Rose have a uh, working a hard all day. She got to go to bed early. It's a ten oh seven for her. Sandy, yeah, Vivian will be here tomorrow. Jason, Sandy Agger is here saying, "Woo, sorry I'm late. Fell asleep." <laughs> hey, girl, you must need that sleep. I went to sleep in between. I ate something right after scrap club. I went to sleep. I woke up when my daughter rang the doorbell. I was knocked out. I have never slept like that. I was calling myself watching some videos propped up in bed. And all I know, them videos was watching me. I don't know what I saw. What YouTube? Some people got credit for some great videos on YouTube, but I'll never know about it. <laughs> I was knocked out. I was trying to catch up on some YouTube stuff. All right, so good night, Deborah. All right, so all of my, so let me show you the block. And it's not, I haven't pressed this with a heated iron, so it's not flat. I haven't pressed it flat. It's been just pressed on top of my little strip stick thing here. But this is our block. And if I turn it, yeah, right here. So this is our unit right here, these two chisels. You're gonna use a print and one with your background being the chisel. And then you're just gonna rotate them opposite. Every last one of these units are gonna be sewed together just like that. So the, when you're sewing it together, the chisel, your half square triangle with the black is down. And then over here, the half square triangle with the background fabric is up. Every last one of them is like that. That's all you need to do for the rest of the quilt. You don't need to know anything else from me. Make as many blocks as you want. And um, um, and then you're just rotating those four quadrants like you would a pinwheel block. So that's all you need to know. 
I'm just making more blocks. We got 16 now that are completely done. So I know I need to make a minimum of 20. And I just need to figure out how crazy I went with the cutting and see how many blocks I'm going to make. Because I just cut. Thank you, Sandy. Same beautiful blog. Jean says it's looking good. Thank you. So pretty from Mary. Is Kevin leaving too? Oh, he won't be in Zoom tomorrow. And he's leaving. Okay, so good night, Kevin. Yep, he's got a little long journey ahead of him in the morning. Thank you, Kathy, saying she, um, where did it go? Love that block. Kathy D's Creative Chaos. Thank you. Thank you. My screen's moving as I'm trying to read. <laughs> yeah, everybody could make it that was in the zoom meeting except for kevin when it was requested that i do a class on that trip around the scrap basket kevin was the only one that couldn't make it and to, uh, truth be told i don't have saturdays available unless unless it's the first saturday sometimes of the month any we had already passed the first saturday because we were working on the first sunday in the zoom we were in the zoom so i already had missed my opportunity so that was the reason why uh, it's not on a saturday where more people could have attended but i do it's filled it's a little bit overfilled but i'm hoping it all works out because it's on a zoom so we'll see I got about three or four people because I didn't want to leave them out since it was only like three or four people asking at the, you know, like by Wednesday. And so I went on ahead and let those people in, I think. And then that's it. I'm like, no more. <laughs> I will have the pattern available, though. Thank you, Beverly and Clovis. Thing, the block is beautiful. Love the colors. This is one because I use the gray as a background with black accent would be a great one for a male person in your life to give to a man. Even though it's got all the bright African prints, the colors that I chose tone them down. So, and that's my whole agenda here is to use different backgrounds when I'm using these African prints so I can experiment and see what looks good with them instead of you doing it and then not knowing if it's going to work or not because there isn't any gray that I've seen in any of my African prints except for the red black gray and white which was more recent stuff so I'm like let's try gray <laughs> <laughs> Jason talking about we're going to have to miss Kevin but I think he's getting his hair perm tomorrow they so bad <laughs> it keeps telling me about chat I'm in chat go away <laughs> they are so bad And time's no bad. I'm not even going to read his. <laughs> and it says, I need to go to the fabric room and look for water-resistant fabric on my double sewing cushion. Recovery. So I will bid you all good night, at least for now. Take care. So good night, Jeanette. That's one fabric I haven't bought yet is the water-resistant fabric. 
I know a lot of people are using them, making bags and stuff with them, especially linings for bags. That's one thing I haven't done yet. I'm like, girl, you need to use some of this other stuff you already bought. <laughs> so. I guess I should be trying to buy some now so I can make some bibs or something. And <laughs> Sue say what hair, right? <laughs> he, he ball as they come, right, Sue? <laughs> Kevin gonna get us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if he come back and watch the end of this live, right? <laughs> and I didn't even read what Tom said. <laughs> but if he watching on his phone, he can see the chat. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh my God. Jason talking about he got a new lace front. Y'all better leave uh, Kevin alone. I'm looking in the new old stock from the 80s. Right. <laughs> the new old stock. Right. <laughs> you feel like it's new when you go back and get something you haven't used in a long time. You're like, see, that's why I've been carrying this for 30 years. Holding on to it. <laughs> it's funny. Sue says she's bringing her own Nerf gun to retreat. <laughs> <laughs> she know Kevin gonna be after her now. <laughs> I don't know anything about a Nerf gun, though. I know absolutely nothing. I do know that I did not bring a Nerf gun to retreat. That I do know. Other than that, I don't know anything else about Nerf guns. <laughs> Vintage is fab, yes. Sue Allen says, hi T, sorry didn't get here at the start. No problem. Welcome, welcome. Did you say your class for trip around the scrap basket is closed? I would have loved to take that class. Yes, it is closed. It's tomorrow. So it is closed. I will have a pattern late, later, but it's closed. I can't, um, or, you know, for sending stuff out, trying to get people into the email thing because it takes time for that to happen. So I still got a few things I got to do tonight. So I don't want to be adding on to my list of stuff. So, yes, it's closed definitely now. I had a good nap, so I should be able to stay up for a little minute. <laughs> I can't believe how knocked out I was. Had almost a four hour nap, at least three and a half hours, maybe. Mama Harding says, can only have decaf. Anything regular coffee makes me hurt. I have fibro and arthritis and diabetes and caffeine just makes it all worse. I don't drink soda at all. Okay. And I try not to drink them often, but every once in a while, it's like just got to have one of them cold sprites. So I try not to drink them. I got to figure out what I'm going to eat for dinner. My sister brought, bought me um, lunch today. My only meal I've had so far today, but my lunch was at three o'clock. <laughs> I'm on a different schedule than everybody else. It's like when I wake up, I'm not ever hungry like that when I wake up. I'll just drink some water just to get my body going. And after that, I don't even think about food until three, four o'clock in the afternoon. So. Decided to take the laptop to the fabric room. <laughs> That's Jeanette. So she's working while she's listening now. <laughs> I got, I pressed one of my uh, units crooked, I see. So I'm going to have to repress that. I didn't see that. Must have pressed two at one time and didn't know it. Because it's really bad.
is this one here. I'll wait for the iron to heat up. Patricia's looking forward to the pattern, okay. Six Diet Coke since I got home. Oh my God, Sue, girl. Woo wee, girl, you be wired up. But I have a friend that drinks coffee all day and it doesn't uh, wire her up. She can go straight to sleep right after she have a cup. <laughs> so I don't even know how you do that. Laughing out loud. Thank you, T. I made a diagram and everything. I think I caught a little when I was highly medicated the other night, but totally appreciate you for taking a minute to tell me again. You're welcome. And you can always come back and like screenshot the uh, YouTube screen too, if you know how to do screenshots. This one is so easy. It's, it's a waste of time for me to make a pattern. <laughs> Good night, Mama Harding. Okay, Clovis. I found the fabric I sought now to get the cushion and measure. So that's Jeanette finding her stuff. I'm the same. Oh, uh, uh, Remo talking about she's the same. I don't know if she's talking about she's the same as me or the same as Sue drinking the coffee. <laughs> um, Sue saying that's a fraction of what I used to drink. Really doesn't affect her yet. That's why I say because once you have somebody that does it all the time, my friend can drink that coffee and honey and go right on to bed. I'm up listening to her snore at retreat. <laughs> she knocked out, though. Coffee didn't affect her at all. Good night, Phyllis. Thank you for coming. I got, I don't know. I still got a little pile. What time is it? Yeah, we got plenty of time to get at least one block done, even if I sew all of these. I want to get all of these sewed, and then I'll just press the first four. For the new people. Oh, coffee and going to sleep. Okay. So she can do it too. That was Remo. Yep, yep, yep. Now I'm doing using duplicates. So that's another reason it was good for me to sew all of my other pieces up. I only cut two of each fabric. And if I accidentally cut the fabric twice, then I would only have four of each fabric. So that's, I've sewed all of the other fabrics. And so now I don't have to worry about duplicate fabrics being in my chisels. I can just sew whatever. I don't cut that many of each fabric when I'm cutting my pieces. Uh, the more fabrics you put into a scrap quilt, the easier it is to put together without having to lay it out on a design wall. All I'm going to do is see if I want to add sashing or just sew them straight together. That's all I'm going to do. I have a feeling I might just do sashing just to make it easier uh, to put together so I don't have to worry about matching any of the four patch seams. Just sew it to, uh, to sashing and call it a day. Okay, let me cut this, do this one that I use my fingernail. I shouldn't do that. I got the wood press right there. Just didn't want to pull it out for one piece. Had to correct. Hmm. Did I take that first one off? Right here. I forgot. 
I know because I got three pieces in the print and I don't have three of these. <laughs> like, did I miscount? This uh is short. I got a chisel that's short. Okay, so we need to sew a scrap onto the bottom. I still use it. I do like our ancestors used to do. When a piece was short, I just sew another piece on. And this one's a little short, but I was gonna ignore it, so I'm gonna put that in the same pile. It's only short on one end. When it's pieced into the quilt top, you'll never know. This one is short everywhere. I don't want to sew it. So that's going to be blocks I don't get put together. I'm going to pin that up here so I don't lose it for right now. So we won't get all these blocks sewed tonight anyway. I'm going to cut off maybe eight of these so I can have something to chain piece with and press. And we don't care which ones it is. And then we'll just cut these other ones and put them aside. Because they'll need to be pressed. At this point, I do press my seams open. It's just something I do. Because I got half square triangle points meeting. Just to make everything lay flat. You don't have to. Just something I do. You could spin your uh, seams like a, in the four patch. That'll work too. Okay. Just put those back there. And then we're going to press these open. I'm just going to press more than four so I have something to chain piece so I can get my piece off to continue. So I always press just a few more than what I need to make a block while I'm sewing. Um, Sue was asking me, what was your favorite memory of Retreat 22? Um, that's real difficult because the whole thing was on a high for me. I think the most memorable part for me was after Saturday night, we had that, um, program we had Saturday night. We did the line dancing. We I can't remember what else we did. We thanked everybody. We did show and tell. And then you all presented me with the envelope. <laughs> and by that point, um, it was the end of retreat. I was exhausted. And when you all gave me that envelope, it was like, I didn't even know what to do with myself. I was just like, this has just been way too much. It was more like that nostalgia moment that you have. It was just a weird feeling. I was in a place and I was just sitting there not even knowing what to do with myself <laughs> while I was sitting there. And then, you know, you're realizing that everybody is going home tomorrow and you're thinking in your head how sad it's going to be. And it's like, but they're not even your like blood family. But I'm like, this is my family. <laughs> so it was it was weird that was the 
most memorable moment for me. Not that it was my favorite moment, but it's my most memorable moment. And I just remember being thankful that people had made it safe, praying that people get home safe and just reminiscing on how much fun we had that, in heart, that entire weekend. I had a, I had a ball the in, not weekend, the entire week. Cause we retreat from Tuesday and go home on Sunday. So Sue says it was uh, telling Jason it was magical. <laughs> Jason, somebody he saw the video of the line dancing. <laughs> he can't wait to be a part of that. <laughs> I got something up my sleeve if I follow through with it. I got a thought in my head. But I have to follow through. I have to do some editing of music. But we shall see. These are my peeps moments. Mm -hmm. Good night, Melody. Thank you for being here. And Sandy says, that's beautiful tea. Yeah, I was just sitting in that chair and Kevin knew the whole weekend of sewing. I only sewed. I only sewed two X's for Kevin to make a fabric bowl because he had his quarter inch guide on and couldn't sew it on his machine without taking the guide off. And so he asked me to sew that. I sewed that. I probably sewed, I sewed on the bags. We had, we had a charity project making bags for um, that organization. And then we sewed bags. So I did some sewing on that. But as far as personal sewing, I did very little sewing when we did the, um, what class was that? Stack and Whack class. I taught Stack and Whack at retreat. We had some other stuff going on, but that's what I taught at retreat was Stack and Whack. And, um, yeah, I didn't sew squat. I brought all that stuff to sew and, and sewed for about, I probably sewed a good hour from Tuesday to Sunday, a good hour. <laughs> but I had a good time. <laughs> That was the retreat I did the least sewing at and had the most fun. Isn't that crazy? But that was because I was totally in charge and people from out of town. Like when we have our local stuff, I don't have to do as much. Um, but when you do the out of town stuff, then, yeah, it makes a big difference. OK, so these right here. I don't know if I got these turned the right way or not. You're just going to put them together. All of them are going to be sewn into pairs like this. All of them. I just want to make sure I got it turned right when I turn back this way. And I do. Thank goodness. And like I said, I'm not going to worry about um, what fabric is touching what because they're all different fabrics. So it doesn't matter. The more fabrics you use, I don't have to worry about that. So I can just take some of my stack, sew it, lay it down like that. Take this other one, turn it one quarter turn. And then I can just sew these together. I don't have to worry about flipping them as I'm picking them up. So I'm basically just trying to sew one block together just for the new people. And then I have pieces for eight more here. I got a sew some scraps on to the bottom to get two pieces long enough. Two of my chisels were, you know how you cutting scraps and the bottom layer or something you either moved a little bit or you didn't realize it wasn't over the die blade. So I'm just sewing this one so I can get the other two off. All right, put this up there. Take these two off so I can sew my stuff together all right go ahead and press this this is going with the chisel unit up there um i got two up there that are too short One, 
And then these are the two I want to sew together. Um, thank you, Sandy, saying that's beautiful, talking about retreat. See you on Zoom. That's T. Yes, I'll be there. Um, I'll be up tonight doing some stuff. Fiddlesticks. Just kidding. It was meeting everybody. Fiddlesticks. We are. I'm planning to go back when I send out. I got my bus schedule in my head of what we want to do. I just need to make sure that the bus company will do it. Um, I'm hoping that they don't rain on my parade of what I want to do. And we will definitely end back up at Fiddlesticks. No matter what. Even if I have to delete something else out, we'll end up at Fiddlesticks. That restaurant handled us very well, and we weren't there for four hours trying to get food for a busload of people. So I like that. We will most definitely go back. Um, different quilt shops, though, other than that. We're going to do a quilt shop hopping instead of just going to one quilt area. That's what I want to do. All right, so I'm just going to turn one of these right sides up, turn the other one 180 degrees so that all the chisel square ends meet at the bottom, meet in the middle, I mean. And then we're going to sew these together because I pressed these seams open. That means I do need to put a pin. If I had spun them, I wouldn't have to do that. So now we sew this. But I can't wait for retreat now. I'm getting excited about it. All right. And then I'm just going to sew this one to get my piece off. Because why break my thread if I don't have to? All right, now we got one block sewn. And then the rest of the time I can just go and press. I guess I could take those two pieces off. I didn't. Good night, Deborah. She says she has a headache. Hope you feel better. Jason says, we can do the electric slide. Line dancers don't do the electric slide. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be doing that by yourself. <laughs> when uh when we go when we have line dance events like at a club or something and they play the wobble, that's our break song. Even though I do like it, I do like the wobble, but sometimes when we dance and all the other songs, it's like you gotta pick and choose which song to take a break on. They don't even play the electric side slide at line dance events. That's more like family reunion. But, I, you know, I guess it's like family reunion. Mine was watching you scream and skip when I gave you the Brooklyn Revolver. That's funny. And that's so funny. I had the Brooklyn Revolver today. Kevin left all his cutting stuff at home, forgot. And he ended up uh, cutting on the Brooklyn Revolver. I took it for myself and then I didn't use it. <laughs> Here we go. Look at the Black Panther in there. <laughs> so yeah. So that's our block. I'll press them uh, when I get to my other iron, heavier iron, not with the Panasonic. It's so tiny. <laughs> Girl, I couldn't believe somebody had a Brooklyn Revolver. I'm going to beat it up. Yours, is it was in good condition, too. But I'm going to beat it up real good. I'm just going to put this to the side, even though I'm going to go ahead and cut this off, too. Still got issues with this bottom thread not cutting. 
and I'm just going to, these are all extra pieces. We're just going to press because we only, we got 20 minutes. I don't necessarily have to make blocks. I like doing things, um, getting them all done. So then I can just do them all at one time. But sometimes I'll sit here and just sew a block at a time for you guys. But I've just sewn one. We just need one. <laughs> But the more fabric you use, the easier it is to put your blocks together. You don't have to worry about it. Any fabrics, the same fabrics touching. Joe Cormel talking about that's the Black Wedding Reception song. <laughs> right. It's one of the ways. Um, those type of songs are ways that when a dance floor is empty, that gets people up on the dance floor. So that's what those dances are used for. T, you were too busy doing and helping all of us. Right. But I enjoyed every moment. I did not even miss sewing. And when Deborah and I were the last two in the room, because we still stayed up late, we would just sit and talk. I, I had no desire. I felt like I didn't have to sew anything. I was okay. Uh, the time that I was able to sit down and do nothing, I did exactly that. I sat down and did nothing. So I had no problems with that. Like I said, that first night I brought in, I had packed. It took me three days to get everything organized, like to get out the house. So three days before retreat, I, I got everything packed into containers or bags or whatever it was. Everything was pulled out so I wouldn't forget anything. I had a checklist. and then. I did not have to come home because I left something. So that was good. The other issue was I had three SUVs filled with stuff for a retreat. Um, my daughter came the night before. I filled up her SUV. And then my husband and I, I think, yeah, we filled ours that morning. We had to get up early to fill our car because we didn't want to leave stuff in the car and have it parked outside. But my daughter, they wouldn't know that anything was in her car. If we filled our car and just came in here and went to sleep, then everybody would, you know, some people would know that stuff was in there. I'm feeling like I'm about to sew some blocks, and that's not what we're about to do. We said we weren't doing that. We're just pressing. <laughs> um, so I was tired the first night just from all the stuff that I had been doing for the past week or so. I made a, made a cake and everything. I made a cake on Sunday because I did not want to wait till Monday. If I had made waited till Monday to make that cake, y'all wouldn't have got that cake. So I made the cake on Sunday night. And then Monday was making sure everything was still done, the prep list and packing up the cars packing up my daughter's car and uh i was exhausted tuesday night <laughs> i slept really really good i always make sure i put my alarm on my um phone i have my phone wake me up i just tell it to wake me up at a certain time because otherwise i'll sleep right through <laughs> and carla said fun was had by all can't wait till 2024 <laughs> so we're working on it. Mini doula says, so the short show the short one so I can see how. What is she? So I can see how it look. Like that. <laughs> like that. So your black point, your black half square triangles at the bottom, the gray half square triangles at the right. Um, T, love your shirt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I forgot about this. This is a new order for a scrap club. This year, we have been having shirts that have black letters, which means we had to buy like the lighter, brighter colors. This year, we decided to change the screen print from black to yellow. And now you can get the dark colors, like a black shirt, purple shirt, 
uh, all kinds of colors because I got it on red and yellow orange. I put it on different color shirts just so I could see what the yellow would look like so people would know ahead of time. But the shirts all came out nice. People got to choose their shirt color, but the screen print of the yellow was the same. So that was pretty fun. I'm still trying to decide what color shirt I want to do for retreat next year. Last year we did like a baby blue shirt with uh, royal blue lettering. Trying to make sure I get it right, the colors right. Royal blue lettering. So I'm trying to figure out what color for retreat shirts next year. I'm open to some suggestions. <laughs> It'll be just uh, one screen and one, the screen print would be one color. The shirt would be another color. It can be tone on tone, long as the color will show up, or it could be a shirt color with a different color. But let me know. Love to have some thoughts and opinions. And sorry about that, Minnie. I have forgot to show that earlier before I sold them. I did show them, but I had them turned. But I I showed it again anyway. Um it's this this one somebody keep asking about 130 Pacific. It's 130 Central Standard Time. I'm in the Central Standard Time time zone. 130 Central Standard Time. I've said that in the video. Um in the paperwork that tells you on the instructions, I think the time is on that. I don't know if I put Central Standard Time, but it's always Central Standard Time. I don't know what time zone everybody else is in. Um, Sue so talking about only 367. <laughs> <laughs> more to go yeah for the 1130 time came so that we could have a few hours to sew before people have to go for dinner if if you one of those people that need to leave on sunday i don't have to worry about that so much since i don't have younger family i can eat whenever y'all already know how i eat anyway on a weird schedule so um I wasn't worried about Sunday dinner. I do, I, I do am planning to get back into having Sunday dinner so Jersey can have that experience um, of going to grandma's house on Sunday to eat dinner. I do plan to do that, but right now she doesn't know it. <laughs> She's not eating any food. But it's when she starts eating and stuff like that, I'm planning to get back into doing that. She's just starting to eat some of her baby stuff, but she can't eat regular foods yet. Jeanette's been having chat problems. June Hansen saying hi. Not a break on the wobble. Uh-huh. That's our break song for real line dancers. But now I haven't line danced like with a big group in probably a year and a half, two years. And shoot, I might be up dancing on the wobble myself. <laughs> But I, uh, an electric slide isn't bad when you're doing it like at family reunions and stuff like that. I'll do it. But at line dancing events, we don't play that song. It don't even get played. The wobble will get played. Good night, Jeanette. Thanks, Joe Carmel. Trying to get to the bottom of this chat. Thank you, people saying they like the blocks. Um, T, I may have to use this pattern for the African fabric I purchased from you. I really like how your blocks look. Yes. And you can use these same backgrounds. Like I said, this is more something that will look great for a male if you're giving it to a male with the gray. But experiment with laying your cut pieces, once you cut some of your pieces, experiment with laying some of them out on different colored backgrounds. Just take some uh, cut pieces with you to the store so that way you can get more pieces on the fabric than just laying your fabric pieces on top. You already know you're gonna use the African prints. So go ahead and cut a few pieces and then just lay them on top of different uh, background colors. 
Uh, a lot of people will use black as their main background and I use it as an accent this time. That would look good too, but I try to do stuff that's a little different than Noam. This is the first time I've made an African uh, quilt that I'm using black in. This is my first time and I probably have made about, I don't know, 10 of them now. I try not to use black because everybody else used black, but this time the black just went pretty with the gray. I thought I was gonna use red, but red didn't look good with all the prints. And so I said, okay, black it is. Sometimes you gotta use black. <laughs> so do it. <laughs> That's the main reason I'm here sewing. Like I said, this is one of those where I've told you three times now what to cut, how to cut. You shouldn't need a pattern for this one. I need to order a scrap club shirt. That's Jason. When do you need to know the colors by? Long time ago. Have you been missing all the emails? <laughs> I don't have any, Jason. I did not order any extra shirts because I ordered extra shirts before. And then I still got shirts five years later. And I paid for those shirts. And I'm still, you know, then still having to... um still having shirts so i didn't order any extra this time um and i don't have i don't think i have your size in stock even in the old shirts because i do have somebody that want me to bring an old shirt next time uh, because they didn't order but as far as the yellow lettering mm -mm, i have to have 15 or more shirts in order to order the yellow to get it at the same price point. I have to have at least 15 shirts. And since this is like a small, this is a focus group, I don't sell as many shirts here as I do if it's a regular T-quilt shirt because we're such a small group. I sent out uh, two emails. Jason, where you been? <laughs> Purple and lavender. That's Joe Carmel. You know, I, I'm thinking, I think purple would be pretty with lavender. I have to see if they have lavender as a color for screen printing because, you know, I got to go with whatever color they have. I think that would be beautiful. Do you know your friend, your roomie doesn't like purple? I told him he might not have a shirt because he's the only one that's got, he won't wear pink, he won't wear purple, and it's a dark purple shirt. I think it would be gorgeous with lavender, and I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. But my my friend here is saying he's not getting a shirt. I guess he won't have a shirt. He'll have to get another. I might have, I have others of the uh last, this 2022's last year's shirt. I ordered extra of them too because that's why I didn't put the year on them so that eventually if you come to five retreats, you got shirts you can wear every day if you want to. <laughs> so uh, that's why I'm not putting the year that the shirts are made so that your shirt isn't outdated like a family reunion shirt. I'll know what year the shirts were done. So... I don't want to put a year on them. I thought hard about that because I'm like, I should put the year on here. But I'm like, no, but then they can wear it again. <laughs> they can wear it again. Two more to press here. So I didn't think I was going to get these all done, but I did. Pressing open does take longer time than pressing your seams flat. So a lot of people don't like to do it unless it's absolutely necessary. Like if you're making an eight-pointed star, then people would press the seams open. I just take the time. It's all part of the process. I actually love the piecing part. 
of, of quilt making. That's my actual favorite part, so I don't mind it. This thing has amazing, what is she saying? Thanks, Jill Cormel, confirming the time is Central Standard Time on the handout. Um, just so people know that it's there. <laughs> oh, it's got typos. <laughs> this thing has amazing steam holes, heat, heat grade plate, and more. I'm shocked how much I love it and not heavy, so it takes out wrinkles like my expensive never did now if i find that if i'm or ironing yardage this is not the iron this is the iron that i use for pressing my piecing seams um i do love the panasonic iron so i would uh I, i'm not a person that doesn't like it i just know that there are certain things it has its limitations trying to see what i got down here at the bottom i got two up there so we're still going to be short something and these are the two pieces that I've already sewn in half. So I got four minutes. I'll sew a little bit more. Um, hey, Mona did what? <laughs> well, I'm going to do some puffy paints. <laughs> what is he talking about? <laughs> He loves, Justin loves pressing. Okay, I don't love pressing, but I will do it because I want my blocks to look pretty. So I don't mind doing it. It's not one of the parts I like, but it's a necessary step. I would never skip it if I had to press. I wouldn't just sew something knowing that pressing it would make it sew up better. Especially if I was doing something like an eight-pointed star. <laughs> and Joe Carmel talking about, wow, tell him that it's almost blue. Right. <laughs> Kevin is so funny. I, I think he has, he has, he has stereotypes with color. He will never wear pink. And see, to me, Kevin will wear red, but you know, red pulls out his, pulls out the red in his skin. So to me, purple is one on the darker spectrum. He should love purple, but he don't want to wear purple because it's purple and it's dark purple. I'm like, whatever. <laughs> Poor Kevin's not going to have a shirt because I've been thinking about purple and lavender. Poor Kevin. <laughs> Sue says, are we going to do the square and the square signature block again? Yes. And I haven't sent out any retreat particulars because I'm trying to make sure that I get everybody's first deposit by the June 30th date, which was the date that the uh, you should have had your deposits in. That was for the new people joining up. I had some new people um, that had been on the list for a year. I went ahead and pulled them off the list. And so I went, I'm giving them time because I had never communicated with them before. So um i gave them time to get their deposits in so yes we will be doing the signature blocks again hello miss t and everyone hope everyone had a great weekend that's rochelle hello hello welcome i was saying since i can't get uh, blank from you. I guess I will make one with puffy paint. Hold on. I, I can't. I gotta wait. Oh, get a shirt. Oh, then he'll make one with puffy paint. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, because I have to have so many people order, and nobody else today said they wanted a shirt. So I'm like, Jason, you've been living under a rock, sir. 
sir, sir, sir. Hello, hello. This one's a very similar fabric to this one. And when they get cut up, you don't know that it's a different fabric. So I'm just going to move it to a different one. That's the only time I've rearranged something. Otherwise, I'm not caring about it. It's just a very similar print, but it's a different color. But when it's cut, you don't know it. That it's a different one. Because of where they both happen to be cut at. <laughs> So that's the only reason I'm switching. Most times I just pick up and sew. Mary says, wash your hands is telling Kevin to make have his own shirt made. Not really. That's my retreat shirt. So. No imposters in the building on my retreat shirt. You either buy the shirt or you don't have the shirt. That's uh, one thing. It's certain things that I feel like you can and can't do. And that's one of them. You ain't going to come into the retreat and have on a retreat shirt that you made. <laughs> Talking about a retreat. No. <laughs> if it's a basic retreat shirt, yeah. But it better not have T-quilts on it. <laughs> Now, Jason, you can make you a, a T-Quill Scrap Club shirt because I do realize that, you know, if you want to do that. But on my retreat shirts, no. Because uh, I don't know where Jason been. He, like I said, he been under a rock or something. I sent out two emails about them shirts. Jason been busy or something. about you know i hardly check my email well you better check it <laughs> i sent it at the beginning of may or end of april and then i sent one because your orders had to be in by the end of may so then i sent another one about a week before the end of the year somewhere around there and I said, okay, Jason didn't order a shirt. I guess he don't want a shirt. I wasn't going to call you because I'm figuring you don't want a shirt. <laughs> Next time, I'll make sure to reach out. What is this? This is one that I'm going to have to... I got two more here. I'm going to cut this. We're at 10 3 I'm just a sewing. Good Lord. I'm going to take this apart because this is another one where I've got a little short corner. I'm noticing it as I'm putting the piece together. I didn't notice it when I sewed it. And I just, you know, I'll fix it up. You all will never know. <laughs> so this is the one. All of these up here just need a little piece of scrap fabric added to them. And this stuff here needs to be, these are ready to be sewn. We're done. We are done, done. We'll just get these apart. I'm not going to press anymore. They're ready to be sewed into half blocks. Well, they're sewn into half blocks. They're ready to be sewn into full blocks. All right. So they're looking like that. And then you just sew two of these together where all the chisels are in the middle. So you're just rotating it around on the next one to the bottom like that. So we are going to end here. I'm trying to. Make sure I don't lose the one piece, the one that was a single one. And I just did. It's on top here. All right, and then I've got these pieces up here. I'm going to be taking all of this down. I'll just stick this pin in here to let me know. Cleaning this stuff up so I can get ready for tomorrow's live while i'm in here 
like Zoom class. So I may as well take this stuff off. And put a pin through the whole thing. Like that. These are all of my cut pieces in here. I still got quite a few cut pieces down here in the bottom. So, I, like I said, I didn't count. I just cut pieces. And then I probably will do something with a board or two. So, we'll see how many blocks I make. Maybe 25. I'll do 5 by 5. That'll be a 60 by 60 without a border. Or... Five by six is 30. I could do 30, two, that'll make it oblong. So I'm just making something so I can show when I do my lecture in, uh, in October, August, not October, August. So I'm putting all my pieces up so I have everything where I need it to go when I need to come back. <laughs> Let's see. Can you imagine that would be so funny to make a tea quilters hat too? <laughs> uh, Sue says it has to be official at retreat. That's more of a serious thing. It has to be official there. <laughs> hey, Carol Williams. Good night, Beverly. People saying good night. They know I'm finna get off here, many. Joe Cormel, see some of you tomorrow. My brother saying good night, everyone. Um, Jason saying good night, cultures. Can't wait to see you all tomorrow. Elaine Doucette saying good night. Remo JS says good night, family, doing laundry. Teresa says good night, all. See some of you all in Zoom tomorrow. And Carla says good night, T and everyone. So that's going to be it, guys. Good night, everyone. You all stay blessed, be safe, and quilt out. See ya <laughs> Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Lost, I'm going to have a haul. <laughs>